Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your photo looks like from this to this in Affinity Photo. All the photos that I'll be using in this video are from Asplash. If you want to download the photo and follow along with me from the start, just click on the link in the description to download the photo. Okay, so without any further ado, let's open up Affinity Photo and get started. So first, import your photo. I'm going to use this photo as an example. Okay, then use freehand selection tool and change the type to polygonal. Oh yeah, then before that duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Okay, then select the object which is this man in this photo. Okay, it doesn't need to be very precise, just follow the edges. I will fast forward this part. And after you have done with the selection, mask this layer and then press Ctrl D to deselect and it will look like this if you turn the background layer off. And then I will import another photo. I will use this nature landscape photo. You can use any landscape photo like sea or beach or mountain or anything. Okay. So I will copy this photo here. So I will put this nature photo inside the object. Okay. Uh, so you need to align the landscape photo. Make sure it fit the object. If you are using Photoshop, it's called clipping mask in Photoshop. So you just need to drag it inside the object layer. And it will look like this. Okay. Then click on the nature photo layer and change the blend mode. You can try it one by one and see which one you like. Okay, so you can use something like darken, okay, or darker color, or lighten screen, or lighten color. Then you also have this soft light. Okay, just pick one that you like. We have a lot of blend mode here. And this one is not bad as well, hue. I'm gonna go with darker. Okay. And it will look like this. So this is before and after. Let me show you another one with this photo then duplicate the layer and select the object using rehand selection tool okay for the hair it doesn't need to be very precise, we can fix that later. After you have done with the selection, mask this layer, 
and press Ctrl D to deselect this legs. Okay, for this photo, I will try this one. Okay, so it's C taken from above. Then align it here. And drag it inside the object layer. Then change the blend mode to see with one fit this photo. This Screen blend mode is not bad. Okay, I will go with screen. And then align it like this. And it will look like this. And again, let's try this mountain as well. For this one, I will use it. And this is the final result. Okay, so this is before, and then after that, this one is the sea background, and this one is the mountain background, as you can see. So that was how to make this easy photo composite that you can try it yourself to make your photo looks more unique and cool as well. Okay, as you can see, you can get a pretty good result using this technique and make your photo looks unique. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.